Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Facebook Live. We have two amazing things I have to show you today. You guys know everybody's been watching these on Instagram and Facebook, our new watercolor confection pans. We have two new pans that we're going to come out with um, very shortly. Um, we're kind of sneak peeking them on the blog and everywhere else. So I'm going to wait for, uh, for a few minutes here for people to um, log in. I have Daisy here. Um, she's going to be modding. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you um, let Daisy know. Hi, Daisy. Hello. And then Carrie is also going to be in the chat, just kind of um, making sure everybody, um, if they have any questions or anything like that. I'm just going to go through all of the colors. Um, we have two new uh, pants. This one's the Odyssey one. And this one's called Celestial. And I have to say these names are really cute to begin with. Um, so we're going to just kind of dive in and take a look at all the pans. Of course, um, these come w um, in the little box that, you know, they're known for. So really cute box, really cute packaging. And when you open it, you're going to see it comes with the classic uh, watercolor confection pan. And um, now they come with a little sticker here. So if you are a collector and you love collecting our watercolor confections, um, they're easy to identify what pan it is, which I love. That's a really clever idea. Of course, it comes with a little handle here that you can use to, um, you know, hold it in place. Or if you want to just stand it up, that, that also works. Um, and then when you open it here, you have a little swatch card that it comes with. And these are great because you can go ahead and uh, put a sample of each color into uh, your pan. So that way you know what colors are which if you're trying to match it up um, against something. So those, those, that's a neat little card. And here we go. This is the Odyssey set. Look at all these pretty colors. So there's um, several colors here. So there's one, uh, I love the names. These are named after places. So Tokyo, Rome, Amsterdam, Maui, Jordan, Cusco, Dubai, Jamaica, London, Inca, Budapest, and Calgary. Love, love, love. Okay, so that's the Odyssey one. And we'll go through all of these. I'm gonna just sample them real quick. Um, someone's asking if they're magnetic tints. They are not magnetic tints. So these are not like our color philosophy. I think the, um, the color philosophy tints are magnetic. These are just your standard watercolor tints. So they're really cute and easy to store. You can throw them into your bag or throw them into your tote. And they're really easy to transport. So these are um, our, our classic uh, watercolor confections. So um, here we have the Celestial. And this is the second one. Let me show you here real quick. And again, it comes with a sticker, so you can see that the sticker is on the left-hand side. And then um, we have, of course, our little swatch card. And let me tell you, when I say these are just beautiful, look at that sparkly goodness. These are like really shimmery colors. I cannot tell you how much I love this set. And here we go, bam. Look at how beautiful those look. I think this is gonna be my next favorite. Like imagine adding some of this to your flowers, some of this to your watercolor paper, um, even your paintables, um, or adding just little accents. Um, these are just really beautiful. So I'm gonna go through these real quick here. I'm gonna start with um, the Odyssey, and I'm just gonna use a regular Prima watercolor brush. And again, if you guys wanted to see anything up close, let me know. I'm just gonna start here. And of course, these are not in order, so I'm just gonna just start sampling them. And you know, these are really highly pigmented uh, watercolor pans, so you only need a little bit. And a little bit goes a long way. And you can see here how easy it is to dilute that color. And I love how saturated they are. They're just really saturated. So this is Amsterdam, I believe, because mm -hmm. um, they're not really in order, but I'm just kind of going in. We've been playing with these all week, so you can see how easy and nice it is to get that in there. And see, so you can go from really saturated to more diluted light color. So I really love that. And you, you notice how little I picked up and look at how far it's going here. I think this is Maui. Love that. Just gonna clean off my brush here. And the next one, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that. And I think the next one is a brown. Oh yes. Well, over it's more like a burgundy, looks like a wine color almost, like a Merlot. Berlin is asking when they're expected to hit the stores. Um, so these are going to be um, in stores hopefully by March. So, um, you know, we, we are just sneak peeking these right now. Um, they're brand new, so um, we're going to take them to our winter show. So if your stores um, carry our watercolor confections, make sure to let them know that we have two new pants. They can start ordering them in a couple of weeks and um, they'll be in store soon. So make sure you tell your stores, if you guys have stores 
um, that carry any of our watercolor products. All right, so this is one more rich, look at that rich red, I think this is Tokyo. And like I said, you can see how strong that pigmentation is. I mean, I love it, it just needs so little. And I mean, of course, if you didn't wanna go that strong, you can always dilute it even more, you know? So I'm gonna go in with the next one here, and I think this is Cusco, I think that's what it's called. And again, you can see it starts out very strong. And you know, this is more like a like a clay, light brown. I mean, it could go from dark to light. Almost like a chocolate brown. It's really nice. I love that. All right. Let's see. Now, this one's a, a, a white. So I, I don't know if I want to um, uh, show that because it's hard to see in the white. But you can see right here, we kind of put a little bit of it in that... Um, little swatch so that one's called Calgary and then the next one here let me show you someone's yeah. asking if they're gonna be available in Australia yes they'll be available international again um, we have a lot of our online retailers that ship international so um, like uh, scrapbook.com uh, bloom and scrapbooking um, all of our uh, uh, partner stores they ship worldwide but if you have a store in Australia that carries our products um, they will for sure uh, have them if you let them know that you want them um, These this one here. I love this. This is like a forest green very nice uh, green color I'm just gonna do the right there. You can see how pretty that looks Perfect for st. Patrick's Day, huh? And the next one here, I think I'm gonna love this one. Ooh It's like a royal blue almost Isn't that pretty Perfect for like oceans and the skies and all kinds of pretty stuff. Love that. And then the next one here, I think this one's Melly, right? Looks kind of like that, or Inca. Yeah, Inca one. Yep. And this one's like a mustard yellow. Love how pretty that looks. It almost reminds me of uh, pineapple ice cream. Or for any of you Disney fans out there, uh, the Pineapple Doll Whip. Look how pretty those look. Now we have two more colors here to swatch. And again, um, very pigmented. If you're just joining us, we are showing off our two new watercolor confections that are just coming out. Brand new colors. This is the Odyssey Pan Set. I love this purple. This one would go really perfect with Wild and Free, actually. If you guys have seen our collections, this is a really pretty color for matching up with Wild and Free, if you guys have checked out our collections. Um, and then there's one more color here that I want to show real quick. <clears throat> so I'll do that right here. This is a really pretty, like, lipstick red. Alrighty. So those are... The Odyssey colors, Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Love that. So those are Odyssey, I'm gonna just move this to the side. Now I know everybody's excited about this mm -hmm. one here, and I'm excited about it too, because it's so pretty. So um, let me just um, clean off my brush here, and I'm gonna start with these. Now, I mean, I have to show you, I mean, look how pretty those are. I mean, the name Celestial just really goes so well. So again, really easy to dilute. And I don't know which one I'm starting with here, so I'm just gonna just get started here. And I cannot tell you how pretty this is. So this is just a really nice, uh, almost sparkly, um, see, do you see that sparkle there? Love, loving that. Okay, so it's really pretty. I'm not sure, I think that's, that a, that's Venus. Venus. Yeah, that's yes. Venus. Now this one, I'm not sure what color this one is, so I'm just gonna oh, go in. Comet one. Comet? Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in. And again, because it's white, it might not show as well, but you can almost see it. I'm gonna just turn the paper in a minute here. It's just hard to see on white. And these would work really well on a darker, probably on a darker surface. Um, if you had like a dark craft paper or dark papers, it would work really well. But you can see how pretty the shimmer is on there. You guys can see that? All right. Now let's go, ooh, this one's pretty. It almost looks like a champagne gold, like, goodness here. Just gonna take some of that. Just gonna put it on here. Look how pretty that color is. 
I almost feel like I'm swatching makeup. Like, I can't. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Like, eyeshadow what? Pretty, pretty. Okay. Now that pink is calling my name. And this is Aurora. Let's just get that. Can do this. And look at that. That pink is everything. Love, love, love. You see that? I love how they play with the light. I mean, these are just so pretty. Notice that on some papers, they're a little bit more, um, like, reflective. Like... Yeah. Yeah, and see, this is the swatch card. Obviously, is a little bit more lighter, um, and then this this is a more rough watercolor paper, so you can see that. All right, now, and it's, sorry about that, guys. We are in the Prima office, and we are just getting ready for the show, so we are just full. Jessica is asking what you would use these colors for. So these are great for adding accents to things. So you can use them for watercoloring, of course. You can use them in coloring books and stuff like that. Um, but I think these are great for adding little touches of sparkle. Like if you use, for example, the Odyssey set and you want to add a little bit of sparkle, you can. Okay, so you can totally mix these colors together if you wanted to. Um, or you can add, add the, these colors to more uh, darker surfaces to have a more reflective finish. So they're good for a lot of different things. Now you can see, oh my God, look at this, this lavender. That it's is, pretty. I am living for that. That is so pretty. All right, now we're going into this one. And I think this one's called Galactic, right? It would also be nice for calligraphy. Yes, oh my god, look at this. That one's amazing. Oh my god. Just love. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And again, guys, if you are wondering when these are going to be coming out, well, they will be hitting the stores most likely in March. And uh, we are taking pre-orders soon for uh, retailers. So if you are a retailer and you're interested in having these um, ordered, um, make sure you contact your Prima sales rep as soon as possible. Um, we are going to start taking orders soon. Now, of course, like I said, the wider ones are a little bit uh, more hard to see, but you can see how that has like a greenish tint to it. It's really pretty. It's like an opalescent color. See that? Pretty, pretty. Now, I am curious about this one here. This one's called Stellar, right? Yes. I love it because it looks sort of like a verdigris. It's just very nice. Oh, yes. Look how pretty that is. Mm-hmm. Love, love, love that. And um, again, you could see, now that they're kind of drying, you could see a little bit better what the swatches are. I mean, you know, because it, it is white, it's a little bit harder to see the whiter ones, but you could see, kind of get the idea of what they look like. Jessa is, a is asking if uh, we'll be showing them in Phoenix. Um, yes, we will have them at the, at the um, at Creativation, at CHA, they will be um, there for us to sample. So if you guys will be at, Creativation, we will definitely have these there. And this one's called Luna. And this one has more of a silver pearlescent finish to it. Again, a little bit hard to see on um, white paper, but hopefully you guys can kind of get a glimpse of that. It's very pearlescent. Okay. And Big Bang. This one's perfect. This one would have been perfect for New Year's. <laughs> it's a really pretty color. I'm gonna do that right here. Ooh, look at that. I'm loving this gold. Love that. And we have two more colors here to swatch. I think this one's gonna be really pretty too. This one's called Nova. And, um, and, it, and it's almost like they melt. I just can't, I can't tell you how pretty that looks. 
So this one again because it is a white. Um, we have a person who's asking if you can mix the colors. Yes, yeah, so you can definitely mix these colors. So they are totally blendable together. And I can kind of show you that in a minute here. So you can see how pretty the pearlescence looks. Okay. And then I have another color right here called Divina. I think uh, that's the do you color. Know if they're they're going to be available in the UK? Yes, they will be available worldwide. And you can see this one here. This is the last one. This one's like a very faint green. It's just really pretty. See how pretty that looks? Now I have, um, I was able to get a little bit of black here so you guys could see a little bit um, better. So I'm going to just take some of this here. Maybe we can get some of that color to show. And you can see, look how pretty that looks. Oh my god, I'm living for these colors. Oh, that really pops. Look how pretty that pops. I'm going to just do the white one so you guys can see them a little better. Just in time. I'm going to get some uh, of Stefania is asking if they're available separately or as a full palette. Um, they are available as a full palette like this. Um, it's maybe it's coming in the next couple of months. We will have them available alone. So if you want to build your own palette, you can. Uh, but at the moment, they, these colors, these new colors come in um, a palette like this. But you wouldn't want to have the whole thing, right? Right, now I'm going to just swatch the white ones because I know those were hard to see. Okay. Just going to go in. Ooh, look at this. This is like a peach. How pretty that looks. I'm loving this. Oh well, yeah, it seems like you can ch it changes colors with the black. Yeah, and and, and and you can see how pretty that looks. I mean, you can see the difference here with the white. Mm -hmm. I mean, the white is very subtle because it's white, but you know, when you put it onto a dark surface, you can see the metallic effect. Um, I'm just gonna go in on this other one that we just did. And like I said, it works differently on different surfaces. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. It's like a red metallic. Or pink, but a dark pink metallic. Isn't that pretty? And again, I mean, these are, I just kind of swatched the white ones, the white uh, pants. But I mean, th th this will work with even the colored ones. So if you take some of the color, you can even do that on here. So I'm going to just take some. And you can see that also works on there. How pretty that looks. And yes, you can blend these. So if you wanted to blend them onto um, regular watercolor paper, you can. Uh, so Someone else is asking if you can use them on other materials and paper. Um, we, well, you can use them on different materials that are porous, okay? So if you wanted to use them on a standard uh, cardstock or if you wanted to use them on our flowers even, you can do that. Um, you just have to make sure that it's something that's a little bit more porous well, that will absorb the color. So, you know, um, since these are watercolors, it's not recommended to use them on, like, fabric or something like that unless you don't plan to wash it. Then if you don't plan on washing it, then, you know, you'll be able to use them. So I just wanted to show you guys here, for example, if you have uh, this Galactic... I'm going to take some of this, and I'm just going to start here, and then take a little bit of the Stellar, and then just continue on, and you can see how they blend seamlessly. See that? They just blend very nicely. So, you will have a very nice blended effect when you start combining the colors. But I mean, let's talk about the black. <laughs> I just keep looking at this. It looks almost like a marker, like you went in with a marker. Um, Tony yeah. is asking if they are made with mica. Um, you know what? This, these are watercolor pigments, so they, they're made out of minerals. They're not really made out of mica, so they have more a mineral-based uh, formula. So these are um, mineral, and um, you know they're, they're artist-quality watercolors. So I'm just going to take a little bit of these, just going to mix. I wanted to see how my like, gold looked here. And Jane is asking if it's two palettes. Yes, it's two separate it is. palettes. So this one's the uh, Odyssey, and this one is Celestial. So these are the two new ones that we've just um, announced. just want to try this really rich gold in here. Oh my god, look at how pretty that looks. 
That's very pretty. See that? All right, so any questions, guys, about our new palettes? Again, um, Shipping in March, Odyssey, and Celestial. New watercolor confections. I'm so excited for you guys to check them out. I mean, look at these rich colors. And this is Odyssey here. We have all of the colors. Very pretty. And um, we just uh, went ahead and demoed Celestial, which is our very shimmery uh, color palette here that has um, two different effects on two different types of paper. So again, watercolor paper, you can see um, it has sort of a shimmery metallic effect. And then you have uh, black here that has a very strong shimmery effect. And if you guys um, would like to win some of these new sets, we want you to go ahead and hop onto our Instagram account. If you guys haven't uh, followed us on Instagram, Premium Marketing Inc., we are giving away some of these palettes before you can buy them. So if you want to jump on there, we went ahead and posted that. And just leave a comment. Let us know what you think about our new uh, watercolor confections. Uh, we have one last, two last questions. Mm -hmm. Teresita's asking, um, how much water, water are you using? Um, well, I had this kind of, um, uh, not all the way filled, but probably three quarters of the way filled. So you can see I only used a very little of it. So you don't need a lot um, because these are very uh, pigmented. Um, so if you see right here, for example, if I just take a color here, this uh, green, you can see as soon, I haven't even pressed it, as soon as I just put it in there, you can see that it starts diluting. Okay, I'm not even pressing it and you get a very rich uh, color. So you don't need to actually go in and uh, use much water at all, actually. But it all does, just depends on what effect you're trying to get. If you're trying to get a very dark, rich effect, then you probably need less water. If you want a more diluted watercolor finish, then you want to have more water, obviously. So depending on how much water you uh, put on there is what effect you're going to get. And then we're also asking if you can add shimmer to these flat ones. Yeah, you can. So if you wanted to go over it with a little bit of the other uh, color, so if I pick up maybe this one here, I'm just going to take some of it and uh, go in there. You can go ahead and go maybe over this one. You see, you can just see, and of course, you know, depending on how much you add on there, but you can see that it adds the shimmer on top. And then, you know, everything's going to behave a little differently depending on how much you put on and everything. So, yes, you can combine all of these palettes, including our original palettes and the palettes we released um, a, a couple of months ago. So, have fun with these, you guys. These are really perfect for our coloring books. If you like our Prima Princess coloring books, you know, you can go ahead and add accents to their hair, to the flowers. There's a lot of different ways you could use these palettes if you haven't used them already. And don't forget to use our watercolor paper pads. So this is the paper I was using. This paper is really great. Um, I did want to mention on these pads because a lot of people had questions. Um, most watercolor pads out in the market have um, the edges glued. So you can see right here there's a glue on the bottom and on the top. And that's for the paper not to buckle. So when you're working on, on here, you're making your little design, um, you want to prevent the buckling because of the glue. So once you're done, all you need to do is take a little knife and cut it open. Then you remove your little art. Okay, that way the paper remains flat and it doesn't buckle. Because you can see right here, when you start working on it, if it's not glued in, it does buckle a little bit. But it depends on how much water you use and everything. So just wanted to point that out. But we do have these available in a lot of different sizes. Any other questions? Yeah, no? that's it. I hope you guys love these. If you guys love them, make sure you give us a thumbs up here. And if you want to win one, just hop over to our Instagram account. And thank you so much for joining us today. We will catch you again next time, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.